the week has been very turbulent. It has been. I mean, we did see a stay in the news where you two are protesting. Mm -hmm. And rightfully so. I mean, this is one of our youths. So... It's crazy. I really Very hope she's safe. Time. So if, if, if you're just hearing this story now, earlier in the week, we the internet went ablaze on a leaked video, alleged leaked video of a girl who was pleading for uh, her family to send in money and showing us all the scars and all the damage that were caused to her. And one that was caused to her in the video. During the video, I think there was a metal bar that was used to hit her head and her name was Pamela. We later on details came out to say she used to work in a uh, virtual money or mobile money stand along Cairo Road right next to a renowned uh, retailing store and uh, the story that came out after that is that she was escorted by a group of men from her stand to go help them across the road and that was the last time people saw her mm -hmm. so the family was then called up to say we want money and a sum of 15,000 kwacha was mentioned as ransom they're only able to raise 10,000 kwacha and so these particular goons allegedly are now asking according to the video asked for a 5,000 more and even beyond that more uh, accusations came on to say they stole her money that she was trading with which was also another 10,000 kwacha and this took the internet by storm it was crazy. rightfully so rightfully so I mean so many celebrities were saying justice for Pamela give us a voice there's no way we have a high security you know a cyber security unit like Zikta and all the other telecommunications companies as well as the Zambia police and other central intelligence units that can't or are unable to you know find these particular people but since then all we heard was a report a, a release a press release from the Zambia police spokesperson and then this is a post of the youths that went out to riot yesterday or just show their demonstration through you know putting up signs and saying we want justice for Pamela this is a post from Diamond TV news and it reads uh, Pamela's alleged abduction attracts protests so by memory one of our well able journalists uh, youths in Lusaka have staged a peace protest demanding the release of Pamela Chisumba who is alleged to have been abducted by unknown people last week Wednesday. The play card carrying youths walked from Levy Junction shopping mall to Shoprite Cairo Road while demanding for information on the whereabouts of their colleague. One of the concerned youths, Kendi Leonard, uh, says it is becoming unbearable to remain silent over the missing of their fellow booth operator. Leonard demands that security wings intensify investigations in the abduction of Ms. Chisumba, whose status is currently unknown, days after a gruesome video of her hit the internet. Now, a, a, a huge voice in all of this is Mutale Mwanza, because she's been rallying, and she's like, call me a crazy woman, but I'm going to do this to the end. I, like listen love her hate her i feel like she she really tries to show that she really is passionate about the girl child mm -hmm. that's why i think she still sponsors a couple of girls at Cap what the name yeah. school university mm -hmm. and it's interesting to see for me it's the video where she was crying i was just like oh true and again this this i feel like this is somewhat a cherry on you know a cherry on the cake to so many cases that go onto mm. social media that don't get police attention. There's so many people that say I was attacked in a bus or certain people in a taxi gruesomely took my money. And all of these stories just end up on social media posts. We never hear the conclusion of this. And every single time it's something silly, the police gets very, you know, full force and want to show that they're... I'm going to show you and, they're the security. And it's, 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 it's crazy to think that the, the people that are supposed to protect us are unable to keep petty crimes like this out of the way you know we have alleged cameras all over the city we have so many things and I, this is just me expressing my view i'm not trying to instigate anything please share your thoughts if you want to but i feel like there's a lot of cases a lot of kidnappings a lot of missing people that go onto social media mm -hmm. that we never get to hear clarity of and honestly people shouldn't keep quiet about this if the video was staged because there were addresses of that which i barely doubt that it would be all well and good though, law enforcement should come down on those people and put out whatever it is. But it's it's a crazy time currently on social media. Me being a victim of a certain crime myself, mm, people okay. need to, you we here, really need darling. to toughen it's it up. Okay. It's okay. But I'm okay. It's okay. I'm okay. Happy tears. Happy, Happy tears. tears. Happy tears. Okay. I think